Pablo Gunner here with a nerdy fitness blog. I know I'm not in the usual, you know, workout garb, but it's been kind of like a screwed up week. Well, I don't, I don't know about screwed up, but just different, weird, odd, peculiar. I don't know, just different, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah, so as I said in the video last week that I was going to be doing something different this week, which is... Uh, you know, it's my, it was my last week on graveyard shift for now. Hopefully we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see if I like swing shift. I might stay on swing shift. If not, then I'll try to go back to graves. I'm not sure, but we'll see how it works. I don't even know if I could go back to graves if I wanted to, but anyways, uh, point being that because it was my last week, I decided to do something different, which was something different uh you know work out with people from work uh you know and just as as a way to connect with people for one but also as a way to just see what workouts they do what workouts uh you know gave me a good uh you know workout get gave me a good deep burn or something or whatever and like i said just uh i feel like that's a good it's a good bonding tool you know i can honestly say like the best times I remember, some of the best times I remember are when I used to work out with my hermano. Hermano, bro there. So that's what I did is I worked out with other people this week. It was mostly this guy from work, Jake, uh, older guy, but he's a pretty, he's a pretty big guy. He's a big guy, older, but he's big. No, it was, he was doing hardcore stuff. Like the first day it was, we just did cardio. And that's the thing is he goes every night for the week. And so I just ended up butting up with him because nobody else was showing up to work out. I was gonna work out with some of the new guys, but they weren't showing up. So, or I didn't see them. So I just, like I said, I just partnered up with this guy, Jake. And so we did cardio the first night. And so he's like, all right. I just, you know, jumped on the treadmill with him. Uh, I did my warm up first is what I did. I, so I did my warm up because nobody was there. And then he got there and I went to the gym. I went inside the main gym and, and he was there. And so I just jumped on the treadmill next to him. And he's like, I was like, hey, you know, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, I do this. And I was like, okay, I'll, I'll do it with you. And he's like, all right. And he was like instructing me the whole way. It was pretty cool. So he's like, this is what I do. He's like, I put the incline up. You know, I want to say to like, I don't, I don't remember actually. I, I have it in my notes. I think like up to six or something like that. And he's like, oh, and then I put it up every, you know, every so many, um, so, so many minutes, I think he, he puts it up. Like every five minutes, he'll, he'll raise the resistance uh, or like the, the incline and the resistance, I think the speed, the speed and the resistance. And so what it was, it was pretty much just a warm up, essentially, but it was at an incline. And so I could, I could feel it though, right away in my quads and my quads had a good bulge to them over the next, over the next day. Like even that night I could see they had a good bulge to them. And then, uh, and then, so from there we did that for 15 minutes and I want to say I got about maybe like a, I think I got like 169 uh, calories but we did it for 15 minutes and I think I got like a mile and a half or something like that I something like that uh, because it was most it was just a brisk walk essentially uh, you know and so then from there we went to the elliptical he's like all right and then we're gonna do the elliptical for like 20 minutes and so that's what we did. And so I don't like the elliptical for multiple reasons, uh, because I feel like it's lazy because you're not picking up your feet and because you can use your hands to push you. But this elliptical, you can lean on it, but you don't use your hands for it. And so like the leaning, you know, that's, that's based on you. That's something that he told me. He's like, all right, well, it's easier too. like, if you raise the resistance, then like that's the thing is we raise the incline uh you know and then we also raise the resistance up to like 12 i want to say or 10 and then went up to to 13 was the highest we went and 13 was pretty was pretty tough uh feels like you're in quicksand at that point but anyways that's something i didn't i've never liked about the 
uh, elliptical either is the resistance because my balance is horrible on the elliptical because there is no resistance. But if you raise the resistance, then it gives you, then it's easier to balance. And then you can put, you know, you can put your motion into it and everything like that. So it ended up being really good. And I go, okay, now I have a good understanding for the elliptical. Not only that, is that when I've done the elliptical and I just keep it at one, one, you know, the incline one, resistance one, I only do, I'll do like 30 minutes and I'll get like a mile, you know? But the way that I did it with him, because the resistance and the incline was higher, I ended up doing like over, I, I think it was like 2.75. I think I might have gone to three miles just because, uh, just because I was like, eh, actually, I think that was another day. But anyways, um, so yeah, and I, and, uh, I got, I burned a lot of calories on that one too. I burned like at least 200 calories, uh, like I said, going to going for two about 20 minutes and uh i i want to say it was like over two miles or no it was about it was probably about two miles so i ended up doing about three miles all together i want to say and my 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 uh like i said my quads felt pretty pretty solid and then he also showed me some stretches too because he even said like yeah i used to get like really uh you know i used to get really stiff in the joints and the knees and stuff and I couldn't squat or anything and he's like my doctor said to do these uh, to do these stretches so he showed me these stretches essentially where you just hang where you hang from you know like the pull-up bar or whatever and you just hang stretches out your spine you know um, and then he showed me these other stretches which are pretty much a lot of the stretches that I do for cardio so uh, so it was like okay you know and so it's good to see that there are other people that do stretches you know after after their workouts so I did those stretches and then of course uh, it was shower time and then and then uh, you know that was that was more bonding no we, we showered separate but anyway so yeah so and then the next night we did I was late and so he started before me but I, I just did some catch-up and he was doing uh, chest and try and he does chest and try different from quite quite a bit more people so it's not your basic chest and try workout which was pretty nice i think so he did uh he uses dumbbells for his chest and try but he also so like he'll do press he'll do shoulder press on laying down on the bench with the dumbbells but then he puts his feet up like he's doing a crunch pretty much. And so it changes the dynamic of it quite a bit. And so you can, you just, I don't know. I just feel like you, you focus more on your upper body. Um, and then uh, in between that, so he would do that. Then we would do uh, leg lifts or leg calf raises, calf raises. He would do calf raises, but he'd do it on this bar. So you're not doing it straight off the ground. You're doing it on this bar that's up elevated from the ground. So you're going below the ground and then up. So, you, you know, like your heels are, are going, they're not touching the ground, but they're hanging off this ledge or whatever, this bar. And so it was, it was different. It was more difficult. And, and once again, these are workouts that I already do, but just different. Cause I do calf raises for my leg workouts, but he does calf raises and same thing. He'll do like parallel, he'll do, you know, you know, outward, you know, like a V shape and then inward, you know, kind of like an A inverted, you know, um, and then, um, yeah. And, uh, and stuff like that. And then we would do this other bend, this other machine, where it's essentially, I think it's press, I think it's chest press or shoulder press or whatever. Um, and so, and that one once again works the buys and everything like that. He was doing a lot more weight than me. I could not keep up with him because, like I said, he's a big, solid old man, uh, and I'm gonna, I'm a skinny little twig bitch. So I could not keep up with as much weight. Like he was doing, he had. Uh, 45 on each side and then he had two 25s 
on each side as well. And so I had to take off both of the 25s on each side and I, w and I pumped it out to like, I would just do 10. And, and I think that's what he said is he's like, you know what, start with, start with the weight and then go up, you know, do like three sets. I think we did three sets with the shoulder, shoulder press. And then you start, you know, uh, and then you go up now, now that machine, I just did, I just did the 10 each time I did my three sets and that was it. I didn't add weight or anything. Uh, but, but for the shoulder, you know, laying down on the bench, doing the, the, you know, doing the chest press or whatever that I did add weight. And he said to add weight at, you know, go up like five pounds each time you do it. You know, so I think I started at 30, went to 35, and then got up to 40. Um, and then we also did flies. So we, like I said, three sets. We did three sets of that, and then we went to, then we did flies. And once again, laying down with the legs up, you know, like in a crunch mode, pretty much. And so that's essentially what we did. And, you know, same, same type of thing. Uh, I think flies are shoulder or chest flies or shoulder flies, whatever flies, uh, those are more difficult. I think those are more difficult because you're stretching it out, you know, um, you do feel it on the outside and that's what I like about it. But this is something that I was also already incorporating into my arms workout. But like I said, this is more focused on just chest and try. So I did that, but then he also had this other workout. Once again, he was outdoing me by like a solid 20 pounds at least. Cause he was doing, no, 20 or 30 pounds he was out doing me by. He was doing this workout where it's like chest press, but with a barbell, you know, the, the one, you know, the bar. And so he was doing 80 pounds, then moved up to 90 pounds. And like I said, he said, okay, you know, each time you go up in weight, you can drop down like two, you know, so I'll do 10 for my first rep. And then my second one, I'll do eight and then six or whatever or you know whatever what how much ever you can do and so since and, th and this was nice too once again working out with people is great because then you can push yourself when you could not push yourself before because you're afraid when you're by yourself um, and because then no one's gonna help you to get the uh, the the equipment off your uh, you know they're not there to help you they're not there to get it off of your chest or whatever you know you could hurt yourself Whereas, hey, if someone's there, boom, they can help you out. And so that's what he did is he helped me out. Cause like I tried to do 80 and I was dying. I was dying. Like I did like five and he was like, he's like, come on, come on, push it, push it, push it. And I pushed it because I knew he was there. Otherwise I would have quit like two, at least two earlier. I know it, I would have stopped. So, so that was nice. And so he's like, all right, well maybe go to 60 pounds instead. Cause that was my first set and so so for my second one i did 60 pounds and then did 70. so and he like i said he helped me out with both and so i was able to push myself further than i had anticipated or had i been by myself and so that was nice that was that's always good to get in those one or even two more you know because someone is there to help you to you know so that was that was great so but anyways that the one he said keep it five like five keep your hands like five inches apart keep it tight and don't lock your arms out because that's there's constant tension but it's also it's a it's an easier faster flow and you're not bouncing it off your chest don't bounce it off your chest and don't extend all the way because you can that's he said it's bad for your elbows and stuff like that um, and he's an older gentleman so I believe him so yeah so that's that's what I did and then the next night he was in there and he's like oh yeah I did some yard work so I'm pretty sore today so I'm just gonna do the elliptical and once again I think I was late so but I but I, I was like five minutes later so I jumped on it there and we just did the elliptical once again he was at full resistance he was at 13 uh, you know and incline six and so that's what we did so that's what I did for 30 minutes once again thighs felt solid like you could see him bulging you know uh, so it was it was a solid workout and then on my last day uh, yeah it, it ended up being my last day I wanted to work out with other people but once again I got there late so there was a newer guy and I wanted to work out with him and I did he I did see one of the workouts he did and he was using he was using uh, 
you know, the essentially, you know, like the, the bench bar that's the 45 pounds, but then he had other weights on it. And I was like, oh, hey, man, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing bi uh, bicep and back. And I was like, okay, cool. And so I was just checking out the workouts he was doing and stuff. Same thing, like, when I was on the elliptical, I was checking out all the workouts everybody else was doing. So, you know, just so I could be like, okay, I'll try that and stuff. And I talked to the other guys, too, and see and, and see what they and ask them what they do and, and what it's for and stuff like that. So I have more ideas. But anyway, so he, he curls it. And I was like, damn, that's freaking hard because I did it like once and and it was freaking hard. So I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do biceps today. Um, and and forearms is what I'm gonna do. Screw it. So that's what I did essentially. And so I started with just like these out curls. I think I was just using 15s and it was a solid workout, but I was doing reps this time because usually I just do one set. And this time I was doing reps, so I did three reps. Then, like I said, I would do different forearm workouts, you know, where it's just me, you know, working out the forearm, uh, you know, like same ones that I do for my arms workouts. Did the curl machine, because there's an actual machine for curling, and I have not done it for a long time, so I was, I started out at 70, and I could barely do any on that one. I did like five maybe, and so, and then I would hold it, you know, I would hold it and then do like pulses to work out the forearms and you can feel it. You can feel the burn. It's a good workout. But I was also unfamiliar with it because it's a new machine. So I they'd had they had a curling machine there before, but that one was worn out so they replaced it. And so this one is a different machine. So I was unfamiliar with it and you can rotate it from like 5 to adding weight to it that's 5, 10, 15 or just have the basic zero. Uh, with you know, of course with the weights, you know that you that you put the pinhole or whatever And so like I said, I started at 70 and I was like, ah, this is too much then I tried 65 then I tried 60 and then uh, And then 55 and then 50 I think and so It was it, I did more of course I, with each one I tried to do two more as it went on but I was like surprised like how weak I felt because I used to do it all the time and I was and I had it up there. Um, but like I said, it's weird because like it's, you know, everything is about training. If you don't work with that machine, you're not, your body's not used to that position and that machine or those workouts. So it's good to like just constantly be doing different workouts so that your body doesn't get used to them and stuff. Um, and you're working out different, slightly different parts of your forearms or of, or of your biceps, you know? So anyways, so that's, oh yeah, and I also did curls with the cable machine too. They had a bar there and so I did that, you know, and, and that was it. It was a short workout, um, but I was like, yeah, I got to hit the shower. So I, I didn't really, I wasn't sweating like crazy, but I, I, I like to, you know, be hygienic and shower every day. So, um, so I was like, ah, screw it. I'll shower and, and, you know, cut this workout short, I guess, since I got here late. So yeah, that's what I did for that day, and then I think that was it. Uh, all the other days, like, because I thought I was going to work, because because I, like I said, I switched my schedule, switched um, from graves to swings. They wanted me to work Sunday morning, get off at Sunday morning at eight o'clock in the morning, go home, and then come back at three. And it's like I'm only gonna get three hours of sleep that way. That's really unsafe. So, uh, that and like I had the sniffles all night that night and like a tickle in my throat. So I was like, you know, what? I'm going to nip this thing in the bud and I'm just going to get some R and R for a couple days. So I called in sick for a couple days. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so that's why that's the, also why I have not done a workout. Like I said, I was sitting down on the couch with the wife and I was doing like, I just feeling like a lazy bum. So I was like, you know, I'm going to do some push-ups and I'm gonna do some uh, you know I'm gonna do some crunches or whatever some in and outs LL Cool J's as I like to call them where you're completely stretched out hold and then come in and you know and do I tried to try to do as many as those as I could and then I did like some forearm workouts with my 10 pounders and then I also did you know I did some curls uh, you know with with the 10 pounders 
uh, as long as I could and stuff. And so that's that's essentially what I did. Um, and that's it. And, uh, you know, but I, I ate, I don't know, I, I also, because this was a weird week, I also ate odd too. So like, there was leftovers from my two cheese. So what I had was, that's what I had is leftovers from my two cheese, which was a slice of pizza um, and some fried artichokes. And that's what I had on the way to work on my Monday. So yeah, for food, um, you know, just the basic stuff pretty much. I had my snack pack, I had my naranjo, I had, uh, you know, my cheese stick. Didn't, I don't know, I haven't been eating a lot. Oh, I did have, get these Annie's graham crack, or not graham crackers, but uh, whole wheat crackers right here, delicious. I've been munching on those. I don't know, because I think, because I've been doing so much cardio, uh, this week I was really craving carbs uh, so I wasn't that hungry for the most part and then uh, I did the wife did have me get me some cod and broccoli and I had that for two different nights and that was heavenly that was so delicious it was thick that cod was freaking thick it was so good uh, oh my Noosa yogurt that's what I've had uh, you know too like I said I'll have that like once a night uh, or in the mornings um, and stuff and uh and yeah i've been skipping out on my workouts in the morning just because i've been busy uh having to go get comics or i get off late and so i have all these things to do um editing i've been trying to edit the comic cast because i didn't i was late on doing that because i was late downloading it because it it the, the sound was was just garbage anyways it was it was a giant cluster that's that yeah so i, I kept it healthy for the most oh yeah so one of the nights you're supposed to bring in the food um, if you're this certain post and so I brought in Dion's pastrami uh, Salad with all the different dressings. I had the I really like the green chili uh, Ranch actually that's I've gotten a because I love green chili, but it's so hot and then the ranch cools it down So it's like the perfect mix to me um, So yeah, so that was really good. And then I also had like some uh, some organic pop-tarts strawberry pop-tarts uh, in the morning for breakfast um, and I've been watching a lot of Legends of Tomorrow. I'm almost done with the second season. I know all the CW shows are restarting, so I'm trying to I'm trying to get cut up. I caught up with that. I know I Arrow this week, so I want really want to watch that, especially considering the way that the cliffhanger was. I want to watch that one. Um, you know, Inhumans keeps getting better, and uh, and Gifted keeps getting better too. Actually, I just saw the beginning of the second episode, but I have seen like I think up to the third episode of Inhumans, and it's it's getting better. Uh, not the best, but it's getting better. So yeah, um, and then I, have, I haven't, I've gamed a little bit. I played a little more on uh, Metroid Samus Returns and I've met a new, a new Metroid that's harder and it, I died a lot of times facing that Metroid, but, uh, but I'm loving it more and more as it goes on. I'm getting more powers, got more powers. I got like the, uh, one of the, the suits that's like fire resistant or whatever. Or heat resistant um, and then I got like some beam that goes through objects it's awesome I love it uh, so it's it's phenomenal um, I also got into mind hunters with the wife or mind hunter and that is a brilliant show I don't know what it is with me and the wife and our fascination with serial killers you know and stuff like that but like we love Dexter we love Hannibal we love this show and then she loves what she watches the ID channel but I feel like that's more like for old people because it's like more like me both men. But anyways, um, uh, yeah, so yeah, um, yeah, that's pretty much it right now. Uh, oh yeah, there's also Metal came out, and then the Mojoverse stuff for comics. Uh, so that's been freaking sweet. Um, but yeah, so, uh, I'm gonna, I think on, I, I don't have a workout schedule worked out for swings, and I think I'm gonna keep on trying to do, like, some more working out with other people, because I want to connect with people on swings, so I think I might go early to work out with people that go before work and then work out with people after work too, you know, and see what they do, partner up with them and see what kind of workouts they do. Cause like I said, I now know work great. Cause I like my, my, I did this workout, you know, and that was a freaking, that was that I was really, really sore. My tries were super sore. So I know I'm definitely going to incorporate that workout into my workouts now for, for tries. And then for tre for chest, same thing. I'm going to do the same thing flies and press uh you know but i'm probably going to do the actual machines as well uh and just whatever i can you know learn from other people so uh that's pretty much it for now um but i want to know 
I might have asked this already, but I don't care. Um, who's your favorite Ninja Turtle? Because mine is Raph, just because he's rude and he's the bruiser. Like he's the, you know, he's the, he's the fighter, you know, and everything like that. But I will say I love Leo because he's the leader, and I feel like I kind of, you know, I'm I'm on that level. I mean, I feel like lately I've been more on the level with Raph, uh, but for a long time I've, you know, I've been trying to get on that same level with with Leo. So, anyways, I want to know what your favorite Ninja Turtle is, and. Yeah, so stay fit, stay healthy, stay nerdy, love and peace.